to do stuff. And we need to remember that even physically, and I, and I, you know, I wish that the older generation would get this down, that their work is not done. You may retire from a job that you've worked at for 30 years or whatever, as you're providing for your family, you work nine to five, and then you go into retirement. But you, when it comes to the work for the Lord, you never retire. You don't just sit back and kick back and take it easy and say, oh yeah, the soul winning, that's for the young guys or the, you know, all this, whatever. Like, I'll just pray. Now look, you ought to be praying. But if you have the physical capability, whether you're eight or 80, you ought to be going out and, and doing what you can and preaching the gospel to every creature because that is what has been committed unto us and there is no greater job than giving the gospel to people. Now, you may, you, things change throughout your life. My, my eight-year-old's not going to go out and knock on doors by herself. She's not allowed to. No matter how much she may want to, she's not allowed to. So she's going to have to go with a parent or with some, you know, someone older. She's going to have to go out with us. When she becomes an adult, hey, go ahead. You know, knock on as many doors as you can. She gets married, do whatever, you know, as much as your husband's going to allow you to do. When she, um, when, when they get older, when, you know, when any of us get older, things happen. Your bodies aren't able to do as much. Right now, you know, there's a room full of a lot of young people. We're able to go out and you can work all day. You could go out and spend 10 hours sewing and just really put in a long day. And yeah, you're exhausted at the end, but your body can, can keep up with it and you can do it. But when you start getting up there in years... You may not be able to do it physically, but you do what you can do because there's always more work to be done. And just because you're young or just because you're old or just because you have this condition or that condition doesn't mean that God's saying, well, no, there's no work for you to do. Because if, no, if there's really no work for you to do, you wouldn't be here. And, and we have, it's a, it's a problem. It's a serious problem. It's a problem either with the culture or with the old. I don't, I don't know where it all stems from, but I do notice there's kind of a lack of the older generation in the newer churches, in the new IFB churches. The ones who are actually doing something. The ones that are actually, you know, preaching and getting people to go out in droves and preach the gospel. Where is the older generation? Where are they? You can't control what other people do, but you can control what you do. And you may be young right now, but don't forget how important this is. And don't ever allow yourself to get into that mindset of saying, I'm retiring from it all. We listed all the battles last week. That could cause a person to get pretty weary. A lot of fighting. Joshua didn't give up. Not even to the very end. He stuck with it. He is the great example of how we ought to live our Christian life. Going from battle to battle to battle. And how many times, just as with Moses, we see with Joshua, whatsoever the Lord commanded him, that he did. No matter what it was. They're just going through and doing and doing and doing and filling the word, the, whatever the word of the Lord was to them. That's what they do. And... Um, never stopping. So we need to, need to keep that in mind. Even when Joshua's old, the Lord's saying, hey, you got more work to do.